all right guys uh, this is and vfx and in this video we are going to talk about a free plugin that uh, we can use inside adobe premiere with this uh, free plugin uh, we can add transitions we can add text animations like we do inside after effects and also we can it comes with a lot of uh, useful uh, sound effects also we can use this uh, free plugin to organize our frequently used uh, assets like track mats uh, light leaks or stuff like that so let's go to the premiere and see how it looks like right so here i'm in premiere and you can see this animation uh, premiere composer window here this is like a native premiere pro uh, window panel uh, like that and here you can browse all the text animations uh, like this these things are completely free and also it comes with uh, useful uh, transitions so now you have an idea about how this plugin looks like uh, let's take a look at how to download this plugin for free and then use inside adobe premiere in order to download this uh, free plugin you have to follow the link uh, in my video description and it will direct you to this page the page is uh, premiere composer and this is by mr horse and here uh, it comes uh, two versions uh, one for windows and one for macintosh and you can uh, download the correct version for your computer also if you like to purchase additional packs uh, in addition to the free things uh, you can purchase this but it is not necessary to do at this time you can uh, the free items are really useful you can do a lot of things with these free elements uh, let's see how to do that once you download that uh, you will get uh, the setup file something like this and in order to install this uh, plugin uh, to premiere you just have to double click here and you have to click on run and it will pop up this uh, dialog box and you have to click yes and uh, this is the uh, installation process it is uh, pretty straightforward you can just have to install uh, click here i'm not going to install it again because i have already installed this plugin and i am already using that plugin and i love it right so now uh, i cancel this process and all right now we have successfully installed the animation composer plugin uh, and now uh, let's see how to use that uh, plugin inside adobe premiere uh, let's go to the premiere and here when you go to the window extensions and here you can see this uh, premiere composer when you click on this it will pop up this uh, premiere composer window right so it is like a native uh, premiere panel uh, like the essential graphics panel uh, but uh, it has more features right so it comes with these uh, useful transitions and you can browse text animations and text boxes and also it comes with a very useful uh, sound effects and you can add additional uh, folders like i have done here like frequently used uh, music files etc so all these elements you saw here are free and if you like to add additional elements you can purchase these uh, those additional elements but uh, what you see here is everything is free and uh, you can use those things uh, within your project so let's take a look at how to add a transition so in my timeline you can see i have added two clips and these are the two clips that i have added in order to add the transition you need to move the current time indicator to the cut point uh, like this and then go to the animation uh, premiere composer window and you can select the transition and you can click on add and when you got the timeline you can see uh, it is adding the transition right so this is the transition and you can mark the in and out point and you can uh, do a quick run preview and this is the transition you can see it is uh, pretty nice and we can easily add this kind of transition and uh, when you go to the premiere composer window and uh, now you can see the edit uh, option here you can change the color of this uh, slider right so let's say we want to make it uh, to match with your branding color you can click ok and you can also increase the size of this uh, slider let's say if you want make it small you can make it small uh, based on your resolution right so that is uh, how you add transitions uh, to uh, your cuts uh, you can see there are various options if you want to change this to uh, animation movement to top to bottom or something like that you can click here and you can adjust that it comes with a wonderful glitch transition and rotate transition let's add the if you want to uh, if you want to uh, change this you can um, delete these elements and you can add this something like that uh, you can click here and you can add 
and uh, that is how you add the transitions to uh, your cards so let's take a look at how to use the text animation uh, this is my favorite feature so in order to add the text animation uh, you need to go to the uh, premiere compass again and uh, here you can see text presets right so first uh, you need you can here preview the text animations here and you can pick a favorite one and uh, you can also mark the favorite uh, items uh, like this and you can easily filter these things like this using this uh, favorite option and also it comes with the search function you can uh, search something like if you want to fade and you can easily uh, filter the uh, uh, animations you need let's take a look at uh, i want uh, let's see i want to add uh, something like this text animation to my text i select that and i click on add and uh, now it is importing the item and if you go to the timeline you can see this is the uh, file and, and this is the preview let's take a look at a quick uh, preview i'm i'm going to mark the clip and let's take a ram preview so here you can see how this animation looks like now uh, in order to modify this text uh, you can go to the this uh, edit section and here you can type this uh, anything you want yeah, something like this and you can change the font uh, whatever you like and you can increase the size uh, using this uh, font size dialog box and also you can uh, see there are some other parameters if you want to change the color you can do that there are so many parameters that you can change and if you want to add motion blur and you can see uh, you can experiment these uh, elements the one problem i notice is that uh, sometimes this uh, position uh, slider is not uh, working in that case you can go to the effect control and here you can access the same uh, parameters and graphic parameters and here you can change the, the position uh, to wherever you want right something like this and the, another cool thing is that uh, you can use uh, multiple lines of text like uh, let's say if you want to add another uh, text line you can do that and we can see it will replicate the animation uh, to both lines like this and you can move the position uh, to the right all right so now this is the ram preview you can see those uh, text animations are pretty cool uh, those things uh, we can do easily inside after effects but uh, not in premiere now you can do that using this uh, free plugin so the next option is uh, it comes with some additional uh, text boxes uh, these things uh, i think uh, you can easily understand what this mean you can use these things to add the uh, lower thirds titles or uh, stuff like that another section is uh, sound section if you click on here you can browse all the free uh, sound effects guys uh, i want to remind you again uh, these things are free and you can use these things on any project in order to add a sound effect you got the timeline and i delete this one and you want to move the current time indicator to the point where you want to add the sound effect you just have to select the sound effect you need and you can click on add now you can see we have added the sound effect so let's take a look at the preview right so that's a pretty straightforward and simple process uh, the another feature is here you can see user library here you can add uh, folders to this uh, premiere composer window and you can browse uh, elements uh, inside your computer and you can add these uh, folders like i have done here by that way you can easily access the frequently uh, using elements and you can easily add those things timeline uh, without any problem uh, you don't have to re-import these things again and again right so we can easily add the these elements uh, to our timeline like this now i think uh, you have a clear idea about what you can do with the premiere composer plugin and it is uh, well worth installing this uh, plugin because all those things you saw here was free and uh, if you like to add additional elements uh, you can browse the website and you can install additional packs you can easily install those packs i hope you uh, this video was helpful and i think uh, you can get 
get a lot of productivity enhancement for your video editing by using this plugin. So thank you so much for watching and I'll be back with the next video. Thanks.